Hey guys, how are you? This is uh, App with iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to go through an app called Concur App, which is an expense reporting app that you can submit your expenses. Uh, you can do it on the fly. You don't need to go sit at your computer, upload files, transfer files from your computer to the receipts, so the receipts are scanned from the scanner to your computer, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is the most easiest way. Uh, we at my company are do expenses, and a lot of people just do it on the computer. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the Concur app. The way to do it on the Concur app that means your company will have to use Concur, and uh, they have a company code as well. Uh, you may just log in through VPN and do it through that or something called VDI uh, as well and uh, Connect through that way and try to do your uploads and configurations and so forth and expense report uh, I can show you through uh, The current Cur app and hopefully your company supports this and if it, they do it, you'll find it so much easier You can do it receipts on the fly as you buy things and you don't need to worry about uh losing that receipt or taking pictures of it or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my phone here in the bottom right. So what you're going to need to do, and this applies to the same way through uh, the App Store or through the Google Store. So you want to download. Now if you had a Windows phone, uh, I don't know, there's many people out there that have Windows phones anyways or those stores are even still accessible. They used to be at one time. So once it's completed done, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do the startup process as in configuring your app for it to be connected to your company so that you're logged in and enrolled. Uh, now again, the code that I'm going to use is the code that I use for my company, which is called Unisys Corporation. We are doing pretty good in stock right now. It's about $8.42. Uh, not stating that you need to put stock into it and buy a stock, but we greatly appreciate it and, you know, Definitely helps you and helps us to invest more. Anyways, this is not about investing. This is about saving money and getting money back for our expenses. So we're going to go ahead and select open. The app is going to open it up and then it's going to take me to my work email and username. Now, some people may have to type in their work email and username and hit next and then it'll validate them automatically. Sometimes not. Uh, some people use a code, which is there at the bottom center, uh, is the or middle center. It says SSO company code. We're going to be using that today. Uh, if you don't know if you have a company code, you can just go ahead and select on forgot password, type in your company email password, hit reset password. You will get an email in your email <laughs> and the email have instructions in that saying are you you know it looks like you have a company code here's the code use that code and then there's a link there there's two links there's one link that says sign in with code uh, sso single sign on code or down below it'll say physically it'll, it'll actually say reset password uh, but we're just going to do the code so we're going to go back here we're going to select on sso uh, single sign on we're going to put in my code. Again, this code is not useful for you. Uh, you're more than welcome to put it in on your device, but you're going to have to go through some loops to actually get it approved and logged in. If you don't have a domain account or the phone number that's linked to it for a two-step authentication, uh, it's not going to work. So you're Unisys employee somewhere. So go ahead and sign in on SSO. Once you sign in, it's going to take you to the Unisys login page. No, so that means if you had your own code, it's going to go to Hewlett Packard's uh, internal page or uh, IBM or Kraft Foods and so forth. So it's going to show your logo and it's going to say sign on. Now, this is in the app of the Concur. It's not going through an outside third party app or so forth. So it's secure. So you want to select on this is a private computer because it's your cell phone or mobile tablet. I'm going to put in my domain name. Now, again, this is my domain name, but, you know, this is all you can see further from me. You cannot see more than that because now it's going to send me a code. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put SMS. And the reason why I put SMS, because you can put email. Great. You can put the uh, other email. Fine. You can put voice. But the problem is you have to get, you have to close, not close the app. You have to like pause the app and go check your email. Wait for maybe a minute or two. Maybe it's five minutes or 10 minutes, depending on how long your email works. Maybe it's going through a spam filter to make sure it's not spam. So it's going to take like five hours. Uh, so I just do SMS text. I get it instantly and uh, you'll see in a moment. So I hit submit. It says registration code there. Enter the code that you just received by text. I received it. It's right there at the center. It automatically knows this is assigned to this code. So I'm going to tap that. 
fills in the code. You can hit go at the very bottom right corner, or you can just hit submit here in the bottom center. Now it's going to ask for my password. Well, yeah, so now I'm going to have to hide my password because you can see letters do pop up and I can't have anyone see my password. Uh, yes, all our passwords are very private and very secure. You know, never to share your password. Uh, if you need to share your password with someone, you'll need to, of course, reset it and then reset it again when uh, they're done fixing your computer. But I would advise for you to always be alongside them. So we're going to hit submit. Now it is validating me with the Active Directory. It is saying, oh yeah, this guy works for the company and whatever the case may be. Now you're gonna be prompted with these messages, which is the SAP uh, Concur. You can skip through these processes if you like, uh, but I would advise you to read it over and more or less select all of them as allow. Some of you may not wanna, you know, how often do we check our email? Every few seconds or is it like every like maybe hour or something and then we overlook it and then we don't have time to go back to it and then it's like a week later and you still haven't got paid. So I always select allow. So it just stays there basically staying productive, on the go. Uh, welcome to SAP Concur app. Get started by exploring the features that help you save time. So we're going to hit next. Spend less time expensing. Let expense assistant and that will be explained later in the video. Uh, to your expense report, all you need to do is review and submit. So book like a business traveler. Search, book, travel anytime, anywhere when booking with SAP Concur. You can stay in policy without having to think about policy at all. Great, wonderful. Next, travel plans, organize in one place. Stop digging through your email, find your confirmation number, etc. So if your email is associated to this app, which this is in company email, and you made a reservation under your company email, this app, if you allow it, will check your email when this app is open and it'll say, hey, you have a travel going to such as Grand Geneva, Lake Geneva. Uh, you're going out there such such date and this is the date, this is how much you spent. It can actually import that stuff into the app for you automatically to create the expense. And again, as I stated, review and submit. So you just review it, you look it over, yes, 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 or wrong or whatever, change whatever needs to be changed, hit submit and you're done. That's pretty much it.